and we, we go 184 pounds. And a good matchup here. Max Lyon goes for Purdue. Max Lyon, a senior out of Dyersville, Iowa. One and one on the year. Two-time NCAA qualifier. Last week, defeated number 11, Zach Braunagel. Braunagel, it was an excellent victory, obviously, for Lyon. And he's a tough one. He won last year's Purdue Boiler Up Tough Award. Max Lyon going up against Owen Webster, one and two, an NCAA qualifier. Graduate student out of Shakopee, Minnesota. Webster once had an 11 second pin in his career. That is a school record, <laughs> 11 second <laughs> pin to you. <laughs> Both these guys were NCAA qualifiers last year, so they know they, know they want to dig in for more. Lyon knocking on the door of all American status. You know, he's qualified for the tournament twice for Purdue, 1915 last year. And it, it, it's always interesting to look at this loop because, again, there was no tournament last year after the conference uh, tournaments in wrestling. But it's always interesting to see because, you, I mean, again, these guys were named, you know, all Americans, uh, first team, second team, or honorable mention, depending upon their seed. But it's also interesting to see these guys just where they were seeded. And, you know, obviously you could play the what if game all year, but Lyon was the 30th seed at 184 pounds out of. The 33 wrestlers that qualify for the bracket. And Lyon coming in, as we said, top 10 wrestler in the nation, ranked at number 10. And he's definitely made strides in his wrestling here. Hasn't found the takedown quite yet here. As you can see, he's more of a more of a square stance type of guy. Way he's been, way he's been dictate, trying to dictate the pace here in this first period. One minute remaining here in period one. Webster 23 and 12 last year, so he's no stranger to winning as well. Good shot here from Lyon. Able to dump that leg down and see if he can get across and grab the other one. Head's kind of stuffed. Webster's trying to get his hips back here. And there's two points for Max Lyon. Both wrestlers out. Well, if Purdue's going to get it on the scoreboard, these next two bouts might be their best opportunity here. Max Lyon ranked 10th in the nation. Then Thomas Panola will go at 197. He's ranked 18th in the country. Yeah, we'll talk more about him coming up as well. But, of you know, he was, a, he was a heavyweight for Purdue last year, and he was an NCAA qualifier. So very interesting to see what – He's made up now at 197, of course, 3-0 on the year, so that'll be another one to really look forward to. Good job by Lyon right there to switch back to a double drive. Webster out of bounds there. Of course, Minnesota trying to work on their second shutout of the year. They actually shut out the Maryland Terrapins 48 to nothing. I think you might have to say, you, you, you might have to say that again, Lou. I was kind of speechless when you said forty-eight to nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, I, a, that's pretty dominant in college that's wrestling. That's not something you would have predicted for <laughs> today, of course, with Purdue, a top twenty program coming in. But Minnesota has been dominant so no, they're far. Halfway, they're halfway there. <laughs> Thirteen seconds left. Of course, Purdue will get right back out there after this one, and will go up against the home team today. The Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. I guess on the bright side for Purdue, despite uh, an impending loss here in this first match, they'll be uh, the first ones out of here to, to avoid the Jersey snowstorm. Yeah. It's, it, it's always interesting, Lou, because you, you see that 24 nothing score with Minnesota out in front right now, but to me, today, at least today, that is very misleading. Of course, the injury to Purdue's Alec White, very unfortunate to see that gave 16 points to... Uh, Minnesota, but even if that was only three, it's 21 nothing. And of course, at that point, Minnesota wins the first seven bouts by let's just call it decision. They won the other six by decision anyway. They've all they've all been relatively close. They're not they're not really outscoring uh, Purdue by that many points in each of these bouts. Period two underway. Escape. One point for Max Lyon. He's up three to one. 
And you keep track so far the through the eight bouts, and if you you know, of course, you, if you take out the uh, injury default. Oh, that was nice by Webster. Way to finish that one. Low leg ankle pick. Woo. Yeah, two point takedown. Ties to score three. Very flashy. You know, that's proving my point right there. It's three, it's three, this match is 3-3, three, three and, you know, Minnesota only has a double-digit lead in total points scored because they've won every bout. But it's only 28-15 in terms of total points scored. I mean, really, that's that's not much from either side. We, we've had we've had some nitty-gritty matches. So don't let that don't let that team score fool you. We've had some tough wrestling this morning. Oh, yeah, Purdue's been in every match. You see the line back out in front, of course, with that escape. He's up 4-3. Forty-five seconds left in period two. Some of these matches are so important, Lou, because for this year, wrestlers, you need four matches wrestled to be eligible for, at the very minimum, an at-large bid for the NCAA tournament. And, of course, with the Big Ten only wrestling conference uh, matches this year, all these matches are going to be huge for seeding at the Big Ten tournament. And it, it, to me, you know, some of these scenes are just going to be very random or they're, just, or they're going to look very weird because some of these, you know, a guy like Max Lyons, say if he lost this match, you know, maybe on paper he's the better wrestler than Owen Webster, but a head-to-head -head loss might cost you a couple uh, seeds. Might, might cost you a couple seeds in the tournament. There's that takedown again from Webster, beautifully done to basically sweep out that ankle. Locked up his takedown, but if, you know, now he trails again. Let's see if he can hit another one as we move forward in this match. Some blood time called. Stops the match momentarily. 15 seconds remaining in period two. 4-3. Max Lyon with the lead of Purdue. You see Lyon when they go head to head here. As the period comes to a close, you see, you, see, you just saw Lyon that's now the second or third time I counted them in this period. And they're head-to-head. -head. He's just kind of giving them, you know, kind of, kind of a half swipe at Webster's knee or his leg, trying to get him off balance, maybe, you know, use a little misdirection. So here we go, third period, 4-3 to three in favor of Max Lyon, 10th-ranked wrestler in the nation for Purdue. Trying to get the Boilermakers on the board. That was a good explosion there from Webster, just <laughs> trying to sprint out from bottom. Got to see if Lyon's going to be willing to ride him again here or eventually just cut him. Webster very explosive right to his feet. And escape for Webster ties the score. Riding time's not a factor. Webster definitely had the more flashier take, had the, had the uh, flashier takedown in this match. You know, Lions had, at this point has been pretty much hitting a brick wall since that takedown earlier in the match. Down to a minute ten. And either one of these wrestlers get a point before time expires. Lyon trying to take a shot there. Good sprawl there from Webster. Has the underhook right side. Trying to reattack. Almost got that. Almost went for that ankle again. Not close enough. 45 seconds. You don't want to give an inch at this point in a tie match. A takedown here just could be the difference at all. Oh, great reattack there from Webster. Able to sprawl down on Lyon and immediately hit that go behind. That's huge. Now, if you're Lyon, 
at this point, you, you, might, you might just need a reversal to send this one to overtime. Well, I don't think he has enough time. Only five seconds left. And Webster looking for the upset. And he's got it. Owen Webster upsets 10th ranked Max Lyon by the score of six to five. And lengthens Minnesota's lead. Man, you see this ending sequence right here, that takedown right there from Webster. Has him seated. You know, unfortunately, Webster's still on his knees, so he doesn't have as much pressure as he would want to on Lyon. Lyon was able to eventually get out.